for financial wellness. Reach out to them for advice at 855-DON-GINO. And now back to your hosts, Don Getling and Gino Franti. Mike Bjorkman and Julie O'Dell here with us today. Um, sharing with what's going on in the real estate community today, what's what's changed, how you guys are changing the real estate community. You are in a big way. I mean, going from zero to 180 in, I don't know, three years? Yeah, just a short few years. Okay. So, Mike, why don't you give us a little bit of your background? Because what I like is that you're basically raised in Santa Creta. You're one of us. Yep. Been and, here since the roads were dirt. Uh, and same here. How long have you been out here since? Uh, 1973. Oh, you beat me you by three beat. years. You're yeah. a baby. Wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't remember that year, but darn it, I was here. No uh, kid, I got out here in 76, and rarely does somebody say they've been here longer than I uh, have. No, I was been here my whole life. <laughs> oh, very cool. All right, so we're, we're uh, originals, and you've been in the real estate industry pretty much all your adult life. <laughs> yeah, I graduated Saugus in 1990 and got my real estate license and sold my first home in 1991. No, oh, you jumped right in. Yeah, no, I knew what I wanted to do since seventh grade, and that's all that mattered to me. You never hear that either. I'm going to grow up to be a real estate agent, unless their parents are very successful. And then sometimes, you know, <laughs> well, they go, well, I want to do that too. <laughs> my neighbor was a real estate agent and became very successful. So we had the smallest house on the block. You know, we, we never got to go out to dinner. And these guys were going out every night, driving Mercedes and... Next thing you know, I said, I want to do that. Yeah. And then I watched them move away and saw where they moved in the house they moved into and said, oh, man, I got to get into this. So a little pursuit of <laughs> happiness. Absolutely. Just the same thing he goes, <laughs> yeah. I have to know what you do for a living as he pulls up in, a, like a, a, um, I think, a Ferrari yeah, or exactly. something like that. He same, goes, I need, I need to know what you do. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. No, it's great when you find motivation like that. And, you know, as I look at your resume, too, you've got all these... Uh, Boy Scout badges of honor, almost anything and everything you could possibly win at Remax. I know you spent most of your career there. Yeah, I was there uh, 20, 20 years. years yeah. yeah, just about. And obviously a great company to you. If Otherwise, you wouldn't have stayed there that long. But, right. I mean, obviously, Platinum Club member, Top 10, uh, Lifetime Achievement Award, Hall of Fame member. My favorite, though, is not a Remax Award, is Best Realtor by the Daily News 2006 to 2010. I dig that. Yeah, actually, several years. So that was a good one when the Daily yeah. News was a big deal out here. We... Uh, fought for that every year. And and as one of the top, and I can honestly say we've known Mike for a long time. He's one of the top real estate professionals in the entire Santa Cruz, no doubt. Over 4,500 transactions now? Yeah, over 4,000 real estate transactions, and that includes, and I like to break down a little bit so people understand, like you said, distress to success. Uh, that includes loan modifications. That includes short sales. And, of course, I also own SCV Leasing Property Management Company. So what do you do in your spare time? Uh, <laughs> well, I train agents. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Everything I do is eat, sleep, breathe real estate. I love it. It's my passion. It's my desire. And, you know, I don't see myself slowing down at all. And, you know, we consistently have sold over 100 homes a year since 2001. And this year we're going to 200 as we grow Home Smart and our other affiliated companies. Um, Iron uh, Gas Grow we just opened. So we got a lot of things going on. And we're just super excited. Well, yeah, what's cool is like, I, like I know where you're going with go this. Ahead, I mean, Gino, I'll let you. Don and I wear a million hats, right? So we're always doing this and doing that and opening this thing and the other thing. And we say, if you want something done, give it to a busy person. We have goals. We know how to execute things, right? People have dreams and they don't know how to execute. Right. Busy people know how to execute. And I think that's the difference between people that have dreams and ideas and goals and people that just do. If you just do, <laughs> yeah. you will get absolutely yeah you're definitely a doer and then we have the other doer in, in the house julie we don't want to forget about you there we're no, just no. kind of getting some credibility pieces with mike to start and then julie uh, explain how you because you've been in real estate for quite a while actually i have i've actually had my real estate license since 2006 but i've been doing apartments out here for uh many years not to date myself but uh, i was doing apartments uh, on magic mountain parkway when i was 19. Okay, so, so, it's so all of us uh, old souls have mm -hmm. started like right away because Gino started when he was a puppy. He's been in construction and real estate his whole life. I went straight out of college into mortgage. Wow. I got recruited by a mortgage company. They go, we're, we're going to try to recruit somebody from college and see how that works. And they went and interviewed uh, 300 people from Cal State Northridge. And I'm like, well, how'd you choose me? You only chose one. They're like, oh, that was easy. We asked everybody what you, they wanted to make, and everybody said, oh, between 30 and 34. And you said, how much can I make? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and they said, well, how much you want to make? I'm like, 80 plus. And they're like, oh, you start tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. what I love about real estate. It's mm -hmm. like sky's the limit. There is, is no salary. If you want to make more, you get more. And what I really, truly love about the business is you only earn what you deserve. 
Oh, oh that's <laughs> <a> good one. <laughs> Gold <Okay>. star. <laughs> yeah, because uh, <laughs> as as branch managers and basic owners like you, that is so true, and you can't teach that. Right. You can you can explain that to them because sometimes our loan officers come and go. Ah, I need to make more. I need to take care of this. Well, then why'd you go home at four? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we don't leave here until 7.38. I left early yesterday. 6.30, you go to the gi- 6.30 I was leaving. He goes, boy, you're going home early again. I'm like, I'm going to the gym. I'll go back on. It's 6.30. How funny is that early? Well, that- the thing is, the reality is, right, lives of a business owner, if we're not working 12 to 14 hour days, somebody else is taking our business. That I mean, you just, that's what it takes. So yep. you have to be willing to do what it takes. And I remember uh, when Taylor came over and he was, just learning and trying to get time from us, uh, I, you know, somebody says, well, how did you learn so much? He says, I showed up early and I left late. And if I'm here when he's here, he'll have time for me. No secret. That's true. Yeah. All right. So we're going to go to break here in just a little bit. Again, we're here with Mike Bjorkman and Julie O'Dell with Home Smart Real Estate, one of the fastest real estate, com- growing, fastest growing real estate company in Santa Cruz, one of the fastest growing uh, real estate companies in the nation. And we're going to, when we come back, they're going to explain why. I mean, I bet you want to know why are they growing so fast? Why are real estate agents gravitating to HomeSmart? Why is HomeSmart so successful in helping buyers and sellers? Well, we're going to share that with you when we come back to the Donna Gino Real Estate and Finance Show in just a few minutes. Don't go away. We'll be right back. 